Hello and welcome everyone. In this video I'll show how to make pine trees for your terrain scenery. I've made these trees using preserved natural materials as the base. I will show all steps needed to make them and also how to add them to your terrain. I will start by making the tree trunks. For this I'll be using these dried jungle vines but you can also use any type of natural branches. You can usually find these at a garden center. Instead of cutting them, I break the ends to get a more random shape. I selected some small branches and natural tree roots to add to them. I randomly drill some holes in the trunks, adding more towards the tops. I've added some of the small branches to the tree tops and then fill in the gaps using wood filler and some tile kraut. make the branches, I'll then be adding these natural tree roots. I use a generous amount of PVA glue to fill in the gaps around them at the same time. To secure the branches, I'll then be adding a layer of scenery glue. You could use the PVA or matte medium glue recipe for this. I've added the link in the description for those recipes. After the glue had fully set, I added a layer of black primer over them, followed up by a light dusting of white primer. Then apply the base color to the trunks and follow this up by adding some lighter and darker tones. To secure the paint layers, I gave them a coat of satin varnish. As the next step, I mixed up some oil washes, using Artist Oil Paint and Odorless White Spirit. I used a mix of olive green and raw umber as an overall wash and then some sepia for the deepest shadows. To simulate some moss on the trees, I applied some PVA and then added some fine ground foam over it. I follow this up by adding a mixture of dried herbs over this which I grinded into a powder using a coffee grinder. To make some lichen on the trees, I prepare a mixture using weathering pigments, matte varnish and water.
when painting and weathering trees, it can sometimes be useful to look at them when you're outside. And although it's not a pine, you can still pick up some ideas from it. I applied some of this mixture on a fine tea strainer and then carefully blow it on using my airbrush. You could also achieve this effect by rubbing an old brush over it or something similar. With the trunks done, I will then start making the foliage for the trees. For this, I will be using these asparagus ferns, also known as Asparagus cetaceus in my best Latin. You can also find these at a garden center. I carefully clip away the leaves I want to use, but I leave around 10% of the greenery on them. If you water them now and then, they'll start to grow back. Next, I will prepare a mixture to preserve them in. I will mix in some pre-measured warm water with some fabric dye and food coloring. You could use one or the other, or both in this case. I'm using food coloring or fabric dyes rather than acrylic ink, because this will accept the warm water and the glycerin better, which I will add next. I'm combining one part of this glycerin with two parts of the warm water mixture and then give it a good stir. When mixed, I divide it over these plastic trays and then add the leaves. This mixture is still slightly warm at this point. That's going to help make them absorb this fluid a bit better. I will then cover them using these plastic bags or any type of plastic kitchen foil. If you find they're not fully submerged, you can always put something lightweight on it. This will then need to marinate for two days at least, but I personally give it four just to make sure they're fully saturated. It's a bit of a time investment, but when preserved properly, they will last many years. When done, I dry them on some paper towels, making sure no tiny droplets are still showing. I then let them rest on some baking paper to dry them a bit more. The leftover glycerin mixture you can just save for the next time. I will then be adding some more color to them. Because the leaves are now saturated in this oily mixture, I'm going to paint them using spray cans. I've tried using several brands, but the ones I like most are these little Tamiya spray cans. These are a bit expensive, but they go on smooth and have a matte finish. They also have just the right amount of propellant in them, so you can make controlled, light bursts of paint. I'm gradually building up this green, but it's important to keep it light and not add too much paint at this stage, so they remain a bit flexible. With the leaves undercoated, I will then start adding them to the trees. I'm cutting them into segments using these nail scissors. I like to use these because they are sharp and they come at this nice angle. Any leftover bits I'm saving to use later. 
to attach them to the trees, I'm using just the slightest amount of this super glue gel. Mainly because it dries quickly, but I will come back and seal them in better at a later stage. I add two or three per branch to overlap them in this way. Towards the tree tops, I start adding more and smaller leaves to get this result. To secure them in, I'm adding some scenery glue at the connection points. For this, it's very useful to use my matte medium recipe, as this will dry with a matte finish. These leaves will not absorb much moisture at this stage, so I remove the excess using a cotton swab. When the glue has fully dried, I can now finish them by adding more color and making them more uniform. I will use two tones of green to do this. I'm using my glove to mask the trunk, but if you get any overspray, that's just gonna add more character. I still keep it light, but I'm adding a bit more paint at this stage. This will also strengthen them overall. That completes the trees and I will now show what you can do with any leftover bits you may have. I place them into a Ziploc bag and then spray them using some brown paint. I used some of them to make this all tree. I also added some on the trees to simulate some dried out branches. I will be making a ground cover that has the same leaves or needles in it as on the trees. I will combine them with some other materials which are covered in my forest ground cover video. I've made this little piece of terrain to place the trees on. I'm first applying a layer of acrylic paste and then add some weathering pigments over it. I follow this up by adding the leaves and some other natural materials.
I then seal this in using a layer of scenery glue. To finish up, I added the trees, painted the sides and then added some more decoration here and there. So that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it and to see you in the next one. As always, thank you for watching and take care. Work complete.